In this problem, we're told how much heat transfer occurs from a system if its internal energy decreased by 100 joules while it was doing 30 joules of work. So in this problem, what we're going to be doing is solving for how much heat transfer occurs. And so if you look at the first law of thermodynamics, it tells us that the change in the internal energy is equal to Q, which is basically the heat, right? So we're going to be solving for Q in this problem, minus the work. So basically in this problem, they tell us that the internal energy is going to decrease by 150 joules. So the change in it is going to be minus 150, and it's minus because it's decreasing, is equal to Q, and then minus the work. So they tell us while it was doing, uh, doing 30 joules of work. So if the system itself is doing work, we keep it positive. But if something was doing work on the system, it would be negative. So in this case, we're just going to do minus 30 because the work is just going to be positive 30. And so what we can do now is just add 30 to both sides. And you're going to get Q is equal to minus 120. And so keep in mind the units for every single one of these are joules. So yeah, this is just going to be in joules. So um, your answer to this problem is going to be minus 120 uh, joules. So this is going to be your answer. And yeah, hopefully you found this useful.